What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Brewster Show. Today we're continuing some GTA 5. I had a lot of fun playing the last episode. But on this one, instead of continuing the main mission, why is it 267? What does that, what does that mean? I don't know, but I'm going to go to Trevor. Okay, because I want to do some strangers and freaks type missions he's in the strip Drinks club are on the house. and he's drunk wait is still in there I lost count of how many boobies I seen If you stand here, he keeps saying stuff. Some of them are funny. Some of them are pretty cringe. But Whenever I try and leave, they give me another dance. Are you good over there? Is she? What is she dancing to? Oh wait, that's right. I have the music turned off. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Can you run, please? Thanks. Okay, this is the green. I got a sea green. Very dirty. Um, that's. That's the same one as Michael's stranger. That's the the getting high and shooting aliens. I'm good on that. I want to go up here. To that one. Oh wait, I have this truck all like souped up. Engine level five. It's got the turbo. It's got all the transmission. Armor upgrade. Well, I didn't go the right way, but it'll be all right. Whoops. It's okay, I'll, I'll drive on this, on this road right here. Whoa! Whoa! See how the other half live? I want to see what this guy is all about. Good chat? No pressure. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, thing. Who are you? Nice house, isn't it? Sure. Can I have it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. Oh, but you like you like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy? Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. 
Where's the check? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he, he was my best friend, and now he has taken all of my clients, all of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. Ew, that, don't say that to me. That's, that's just I love weird. you. I love you. Lenny Avery. Try and destroy all of first sale signs. All around the city. Start your turd! <laughs> Alright. Oh. That was okay, I guess. What about this one? Would this one be a little bit more interesting than that one? I mean, if not, I'm just gonna go back to doing main mission. Whoops. My driving is not very good today, it seems. Okay, bro. I was totally not touching the wall. Uh, remind me of the Austin Powers movie. Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock and an entire courgette. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill. Snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. like you did on that on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this. Or oh. like that, huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not worthy. I'm, I'm, I'm oh not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yeah, before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> ah, a pair of fruitcakes. Okay. Well... I'm gonna go back to Michael and go to the Barry mission. Barry? Is that who his name? What is that? I don't know. I don't. It starts with a B, so. Are you still on this? <laughs> oh man. Michael, you can't get off the roof, bud. 
Yeah, you need my help to get off the roof? Alright, I need to call a cab. Can you get a cab here as soon as possible? Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Okay, thanks for your help. I'm right here. Oh man, don't freaking hit me. All right, to Hey my man, where are you going? Uh, uh, the Federal Investigation Bureau. Pacific Bluffs. Sure thing, man. The skip is extra. Eh, whatever. It was like 10 bucks. All right, brother, here we are. 45 bucks. Jeez. <clears throat> is this the mission I think it is? I think I think I know what mission this is. I'm gonna go to first person. We'll get there much quicker. Nice, cleared the stairs. I think. Oh, uh, looks like we gotta go up. Can you get up on that? Okay. Michael, you're not a parkour master. In fact, he's a parkour failure. But that's okay, he's an old man. Dude, I am so fucking sleepy right now. Ah, uh, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys. Bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy. You can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but... fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Oh, Steve, Oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Well, Why? Arrest you, Why? too. Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak oh, to I Michael. See. Now we're to at try a and Mexican explain standoff. things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who what the is fuck are you with? Now? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. And who's this Put now? The gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No, oh, same goddamn leg. Oh, okay. Fuck. Bullshit. Mike, this is your frequency. That's already at the end of the walkway, top of those stairs. Whoa. I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. Why do I have my pistol out? I need the, my carbine. What happened to Haynes? 
He get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. I forget X is not reload. It is evade. Opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. Hey, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. I'm coming. I need a fresh magazine. Look out. Up there. Leave me alone. Okay. More Merryweather? Are you kidding me? Merryweather bird incoming. These guys don't have a funding problem. Can someone do something about that chopper? So tell me, Davy, who are these bureau men trying to kill me? Merryweather Bird is down! Shit! 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 I thought you were the corrupt division! Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. What? I'm between the fountain and the reflecting pool. Come on! A senseless waste of human life! What happens to Haynes? Oh, You're gonna pop him at the water here. cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. To him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. On me, and we'll make a plan to get out of here. What are Merryweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. Shit! 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 Like right next to him. Ooh. This kind of action on U.S. soil is why you shouldn't be operating. They're done. I gotta get out before someone clocks my chopper. Hey, thanks, T. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear, and we'll talk. Come on, it's over here. This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. Gray, another... Bruh, why, why did you do that? Whoa! Shit! Chopper! I'm not gonna... I'm gonna shoot it out. Oh, crap! Stupid! That's what you get!
All right, we're back with a new car. That was so funny. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to watch that back and while I edit. Smoking, huh? No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low-rent hood. Listen, Trevor, Listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning it. I've been meaning to tell you, you know? I mean, what, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Depraved history, but history nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. All right. Franklin. Like we gotta go see him now. That's at his house. Okay. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, Stretch, and all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with 
Stretcher set him up. <sighs> Fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man, I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, yeah. but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell him it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh my god, I definitely touched him, but I didn't scrape it. Personal vehicles. What? How they beat me here, dude? I thought hey, I was here. Our... Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? I thought I was we on want the way to be before rescued, they even... not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. The place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there he go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. A combat MG. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way I wonder in if you can put a silencer on the this heaviest. thing. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me. By the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But... I won't be able to cover you. Alright, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Ah, uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. They coming for us right now. 
Screw it! Let's improvise! I... I don't know how they saw me. I didn't make any noise. I'm sitting there Samar! Where's he at? I don't know what I was shooting. Frank! You found Lamar yet? No, dog! Just more ballers! Where's Lamar at, kids? down? Where are they at? Oh, up here. Shit, homie, you all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got the jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. I'll get back in my car. 
<laughs> or I get killed, Alpha Tony. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz -aid. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up. Homie's there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools roll. When these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Miss Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. Know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> nigga. So I guess... Man, I guess they talk so this. much. Nigga, don't think it ain't no fun if you have fucking I mean, it's good the dialogue, though. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a... Little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. 
Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours are trying to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post-street <laughs> nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Hey, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dawg. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. <laughs> oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Am Make I? it Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Oh, flossing ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Minus fifty dollars. I gave him fifty dollars, and he's complaining. He didn't get enough money. In fact, he should be happy that he got any money at all. Michael, do I need to switch over to Michael now? Ah, couldn't they have popped him in the suburbs? Popped who in the who? In the what suburbs? What are you talking about? What is... What? I gotta go to Ponzi Boys? What do I gotta do there? You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. I just again. jumped over that car. So what are you going to do for me about Haynes, the rest cool. of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right, and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Oh! You're Bro! I was too antsy to get somewhere. He about hit me. Even though I probably hit just about everything on the way here. Eh, whatever. What am I doing here, though? Chain in your tux. To attend the Take premiere. A look around. I'll be at Pones Boy soon. I give a rye. You better get a badass tux. Okay, I just lost some brain cells there trying to read that. Blue, gray suit. And he's going to be white. 
or silver. Damn, 5,500 for a tux? Yes, I'm Um, oh. I got the tux, though. Oh, I got a stand? What am I doing? I still gotta be inside the store? Welcome. I'm in a suit, not a tux. Doi, I'm in a suit. I need my tux. Get in the back, Pop. Damn, I paid for a useless suit. A stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back real? down here. <laughs> Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the Stris Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. He's Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, enough. properly invited. I'm extremely Veered tired. To I don't the understand to why the I'm pee. so tired. Jimmy! Read my neck rolls. Entitled E N. T, uh, titled, cause I am Jimmy. Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Do me a favor and go. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out! It's a premiere! We're gonna have to kill Devin. I kind of feel like we're gonna have to kill Devin. Hi, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Thanks, Antonio. Hey, Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boots tonight. Out. Come on. We did it! So did that. we fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> I Fuck wonder you, if he got Freddy. the dildo I off his chest. That was husband, hilarious. But I'm a husband with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh, oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Huh? Really modern stuff. Uh, pervert. <laughs> come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, 
love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I got to go. Oh, thank you goodness. so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. That Come guy on, is so cringe. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. Hold on. Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. Ooh, we got this car. Thanks, Devin. I met. I, I imagine this was his car. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed yeah, off at me because I didn't like shit can the movie. Pay, pay, and then his pay, lawyer pay. died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't she gonna do anything herself. if I got a say in it. She ran but into you the fucking jet killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these... Connections. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll. Ah, one of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girl. That's gross. Okay. Hide in the here. closet. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one leaves! You get out of my house. This Frag is my out. house. What the? Not yet. Stay All right, put. but that's not happening. You guys are ruining my house. Behind me, boy. I need the help. Thank you. Carlos ain't gonna like what you did to his garden. Look at that storm over there. Too bad I can't look at it. I got too busy shooting people. All right. Uh, sorry, Amanda. Not Amanda. I don't want to blow up that car. I kind of enjoy that car. Making sure he's dead. Ow. Got you, you dick. Uh, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Yes, it Someone is. Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? <laughs> it's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm going to make a call. It's all going to be okay. Stay put. Oh, my God, what an idiot. 
Uh, that's hilarious. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Absolutely Hell not. No. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Ah, right. uh, yes, we're getting closer and closer to the heist. Honestly, this is like literally my favorite mission in the game. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I know. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Oh, look. I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Look out! Sorry I'm like really quiet in this episode. I'm just I'm really enjoying the dialogue of the game and uh, I'm I'm tired, so I don't really have much to talk about. Mr. DeSanto, good to see you. What's happening? Fucking pigs hang around my crib every day and shit. Tell me about it. They for, Cousin Boo. Floyd said strip shit. club objectify women, like but you ain't objects. Like you're people. All right, wait. Okay, I'm just hearing things. Or is that chatter? Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me, right, huh? Enough! You're... Enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I'll uh, be right back. This I'm gonna is grab it. a drink. Well, we have two options. They're both a little uh. <laughs> out there but then again what do you expect okay option one we hijack their armored cars we take the crews hostage and then we infiltrate the depository now once you're in there and you've got the score we send in a team of modded cars you load up you get out and we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape but option two we cause a distraction out front make them think we're dumb <laughs> well we've never had a problem convincing people of that have we <laughs> The other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, uh, 
You've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Why the hell would I do obvious, man? I'm doing subtle, bro. Well, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First... I want... I want this guy. Jobs for the bureau team. This guy. Mr. Abalaji is solid. You take him on a job, just don't ask him about the psychiatric industry. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth game. Kareem. Dude was a clown yes. on a jewelry store job. A little bit less of a clown on the bureau rate. But he'll do good on this one, and we can still pay him dirt. Sweet. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna get my boy on... Where's my other guy? I don't want Eddie. No, he's too much. Wait, I have to have him again? Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system. You already know it's going to be him, buddy. I stuck with this 4%. guy at the jewelry store and then the bureau. He's getting better, and he ain't getting more expensive. Bro, We've like, been waiting our whole lives something. for this one. Are you sure you got this right? My my skin's breaking out or something. I don't know what's going on here. I think there's something in my job that's causing me to break out. I think it's like the oil that's on the metal parts. Or it could be the soap that I'm using there. It's soap sucks, dude. It's like mixed with sand. Who puts sand Jesus in soap? Jesus Christ, he's milking it. I'm confirming this. Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. You're Look, a fruity. this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. An angry fruity. I think fruity. it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. All right. Let's do this. So I'm gonna have to get the cars. I think I remember where most of the cars are. Hey, yo, uh, what I think I remember where all the cars are, but... Me Can some somebody get me a sandwich? Can you get your own sandwich? Right, Trace? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. Got a point. Alright, I think I know where one car is. Pretty sure it's on the top of one of these uh, parking garages. There's an LSPD van holding spike strips in the rear car park in the southwest. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'll go take care of that. It is not far. No, I don't want to set up a Jeepus. Woo! Too close! Not close at all, actually. Yeah, the four muscle cars. I oh, know, I need those. I have to go modify it. Did you give me money to modify them? Steal the police van. Okay. 
If I could do this quietly, he won't know I'm gonna steal it. What's that new one? The one that just came out. It's about the finance guys. What's it called? Meltdown. Anton Bartolaire, yeah. A lot of buzz. They're talking statues. Can I knock him it's out? It's an art house turkey? Yes. Yes. And nobody will ever know. Because he won't be able to radio it in. Ha ha ha. Well, that was easy. Man, if my boss Look out! Whoa. Whoa. All righty. Hey, can I steal this? Is this stealable? It is. I mean, every car is stealable, but what I mean is, I don't have to break the glass out. Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. Hey, man. Hey, you owe me 20 to Johanna. Uh. Four uh, muscle cars. Pill Box that. Hill. Pill Box Hill. That's right here. So it's it's in this area. Wait. It's in this area here. I believe it's down here at the end. There's a uh, parking garage. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. This right Shit. here. This parking garage here. Oh my god. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Why did you have to do this now, bro? Like, like why? I'm, I'm trying to do other stuff. I'll save him later. Let me get my the muscle car and then we'll save him. It's over here, is it not? Oh my god, I bet you it disappeared now because I'm doing this stupid mission. Alright. Well, let's let's hit the jump. Are you gonna hit that tree right there? It did not hit the tree. Total bullshit. I kind of wish it didn't do that, though. I would have liked to have seen where I was going. Uh, well, anyway, that is... the place I need to get the muscle pump. Ah! I couldn't maneuver. Hey, look, look, man. Yep, I'm such a fool. Nice Whee! You fucking Good. dick. Oh, Why is, where's Jimmy at? Is he in a car? Hey, eyes front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. 
Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. There's a couple of you deserve that. colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. Okay, don't, you're the comedy you learn writer. to, like, look in your mirrors I when you took you. driver's You started ad. another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to NPC trace your driver's ad. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder Bro. is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is a Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's this herd, huh? The size of your herd don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled, because I am. <sighs> Horrible little oh, troll. Oh, you screwed up my car. Dad! Dad! Oh. You can have your idiot son. Help me. Let me take you home. Thank you. Shit. Fuck, man. Do you think? Do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Cause the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Oh, no. No, I'm like his troll. Did you want that to happen? I'm like he set all that up just to get my. Uh, Call me attention. an idiot, but a troll, Jim. What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like, someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. <laughs> Basically, the humor yeah. comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. It's not then you funny. say it again, right. and again, Trolling and again, is and again. Okay. Do that is really like, the other day, really he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. All right, the troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. Yeah, this hedge fund was like interested in financing, but I have to say, oh, fuck. What the fuck? All right, now I gotta head back to the pillbox area so I can. Get that muscle car. Shit! Alright, we gotta take this bitch to the mechanic. To Los Santos Customs. Okay. Let me hit the wall real quick. Horrible. Me. I mean, dude, I love how people freak out and then they hit you. Like, you know, go the other way, the opposite direction of me. Hopefully they fix that in GTA 6. 
But hopefully they make the cars sound different too, because I don't really enjoy the call the car sound kind of similar. Or at least all the same style of car. From a toad to a prince. Ice trip. Armor bulletproof. Turbo. Respray. Uh, classic. I'm gonna make this one. Cabernet red. Oh, and uh, secondary. Saxon blue. Have a good one. Sound good enough for me? Damn! Damn, son, where'd you find this? One's gonna open the right one. Okay. Rockford Hills, by the jewelry store, Mission Road, southeast of Legion Square, I think I know where that is, Rockford Hills, okay. Hey Lester, first gauntlet's ready to go. Alright, that's good work. Alright, I'm over here by the airport, so I'm gonna steal a car. There's gonna be plenty of cars over here. Yeah, I'll take this, um, blue one? Somewhat blue? Is this a blue color, or is that like, kinda like, uh, it looks like a bluish purple. Like a midnight blue. Okay, so Legion Square should be somewhere, here's Rockford. I'm gonna go get that, uh... There's one by the jewelry store. Pretty sure it's there. Hey look, this car is, it says anus on it. <laughs> Fucking bitch. I wonder if this game's gonna get uh, remastered again for the PlayStation 5 Pro. It probably will. You got lucky, buddy. It'll probably come as a package with the GTA 6 game. Here, get the GTA 5 with the GTA 6 bundle for just $160. Like, uh, fuck off. Good man, come and serve. No way! No way! Yeah, I believe it's happening, buddy. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you guys are getting a little crazy. Oh, there you are. Get pasta! Get pasta, man! Alright. 
Let's take this bad boy here. This is definitely the next muscle car. Why do I gotta take it all the way down here? You know, to the freaking airport. There's another Los Santos right around the corner and it's closer. Maybe this is the only guy that'll do the high spread. Concentration mode has been engaged since I started driving. However, oh, okay. But, you know, I still get unfocused sometimes. Every time I look down at my map. There, that looks better. Primary color. This one's gonna be. Midnight purple. Secondary color. Cream. Right. Midnight purple and cream. I wonder who'll be driving this one. do this high smoothly there's always a chance for things to go wrong and then I die and mission fails and I gotta start all over so yeah, that could still happen all right. now we go back still another car find the next one do the same thing oh hold on I gotta get out of all those menus uh, email pillbox Rockford and Moses Lyson Mission Row Tempur Hotel, southeast of Legion Square, wherever the hell that is. Uh, there's the impound. It's got to be over by impound. Fuck, it's hot. Dude, I don't understand how it gets so freaking hot in here, man. It's like, as soon as I get home, it's cold. But when I... PS, my PC's not even that hot. Mission Row. Here's Mission Row. It's over here somewhere. I believe it's right here. I'm gonna just gonna take a wild guess, and that's where it is. All right. You told me to go backwards. Now you tell me to go this way. Make up your mind, Jeepus. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're in this shit. I swear, don't do, do that again, you're freaking jerkwad. Okay, let's head back to Mission Row. Let's get this last gauntlet. This game should not be crashing on a 4080, that's all I gotta say. Shit. Or does it have anything to do with the graphics card? What does it have anything to do with? Probably the codes. Maybe it's the game itself. Oh my God. I forgot this car turned on a dime.
this hotel. Chat. Too close. Uh, you can thank that one lady. Give me the gauntlet. Wonder where she's going. Y'all just park just like to walk around and do nothing? Is that what y'all do? Man, I know you saw me, bro. I know you saw me, my lights are on. Like they don't care, they let them run into you anyway. Hope they fix that in the new game as well. I want the NPCs to be aware of your existence way before you even reach them. You know, not just the enemies. Okay, I want the normal, regular NPC that you just see walking around like a little pedestrian. Or people in their cars. Like it never happened. Okay, I want them to know that I'm there way before I even get to them. So they don't run into me. Uh, I'm just gonna do black. Easy. Oh, oh God. The third one is here. Burp. Uh, sure, auto save. That way, in case it crashes again, you know, we'll have to worry about doing that all over again. Third and final gauntlets, primed and ready. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. We have everything we need to do the heist, guys and gals. So, let's head there now. All right. But that was simple enough. What's good? That's what I'm saying. My boy, Mike. Good to see you. I guess it's just good to see you. Uh, do I know that guy? All right. Hurry up. Get changed, all right? This is the biggest day of your sorry little life. Hey, man. So we really doing this shit? Frank, come on. Next door. Yeah, man. We're really doing this shit, man. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state-of-the-art. Cute. Hey, 
Where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. Why not eight? All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. <laughs> All right, people, the trucks are on route. Let's get to the tunnel and wait. The tunnel and wait. Well, it looks like time is going forward, so... Before eight. Oh, shit. I gotta get there before eight. Oh. This the best you could do? What are you talking about? Well, let's hope I don't These run into anybody. Guys? They're cool. Look, we pulled that thing with them. It went fine. The Bureau was intense, but this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I mean, the raw experience, the stories. You setting these guys up for a fall? Huh? Is that of what this is about? I am. <laughs> if they're the diversion, maybe it makes sense. This whole treachery thing is new to no, me. I just want the most Oh, money. listen to this asshole. That's what I want. It's all good. No one is being set up. I've heard that before. Shut it, Trevor. This is the big one. All right, the trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. No need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. Drop the stinger. Now keep driving. They should go over it. Oh, shit. Move your ass! You do not want to die for this shit! Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Your move, buddy. No, 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 no. Get a fucking move on. Come on, move. Hurry up. Just hold on. First, move. Let's go. Hey. You please, get these ready. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we got a one-minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter come in. Who no, no, you no. like? This one. No. Oh, shit. Hey, please, whatever you yeah, need. Yeah, no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go. Go, go, go. Get in. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go, Wait, that guy looks like he's going to piss himself. Why don't you get somebody who's... Quit whimpering. You know, a little Next more brave. Stop, the Union Depository. Shit, 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 shit. Relax, man. I'm the one who should be crapping myself. I'm about to rob the biggest bank on the planet. Fuck! Fuck! Look, Casey, I need you calm. You're no use to me when you're freaking the fuck out. Where you want to be right now is useful. Yeah, right. Cool. Hey, man. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> half a minute Here ago? You Are go. you serious? Like, bro, it's a minute time. late? Onion 86 Come on, now. I understand if it's like 30 minutes to an hour, but, bro, I'm a minute late. Big plant 22 in sight. Stand by. They're here. Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization? Good. Good? Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Right behind you, sir. So far, so good. Hopefully he doesn't piss himself. How's things? Things are great, uh, Howard. Good. Yeah, uh, um, uh, fine. I bet the freeway is an absolute B star star CH today. 
Tell me when it isn't. And you gentlemen have to sit in those trucks, bored out of your minds, staring at more money than you know what to do with. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> Ain't no small talk, buddy. Collection team is here. Now, that is some kind of door. Hey. So, you know what to do? Uh-huh. Come on. Okay. Gentlemen? Oh, I got a job to do. Absolutely. Oh, shit. Is there gold in all these boxes? Look at all that gold. There's a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. That's good stuff. Hey, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule. Get yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. These are heavy. A little over two tons of pallet. Yeah. So what's that worth? Gold's trading at uh, around 1,700 to 2,000 an ounce. 35 ounces a kilo, give or take. 1,000 kilos a ton, so that's... 200 million dollars or thereabouts. Give me a si Yep, that sounds about right. Yep. Collection <laughs> team has the cargo. Got many jobs after this? No, this last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. <laughs> ah, my back! This much metal ain't normal, is it? Quite irregular. Order came down this morning, but the computer cleared it. Well, let's hope no one untoward gets word. Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! Ah, you... All right, come on, let's not take up would any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. Would you even know what to do with that much gold? To. I don't know, ah, I know what to do with it. that much gold. Let's go! Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe I could just, Casey, you know... Hey, come on, Casey, suck it up! You can't oh. handle the hangover, Case. Do not overindulge. That's right. This man right here will teach you a little something about moderation. Thanks. No. Thank you. Really. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, man. Cargo is gone. Be cool, Case. We unload a mission row. You go on your way. Control. Pickup was good. How's it looking up there? Not good, man. Mary with know we took the UD. They out there looking for you. Shit. Okay. What can you do? Very weather. We tapped into the traffic light system. I try to keep them away from you. Fuck. Okay. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, okay, okay. The link's active. Now you can control uh, the traffic lights. Let's hope let's I go. do this good. good. Luck. I, I hey, don't we know. Got it. I don't remember this. Man, this just seem easy enough. Do I, I don't remember doing this. Okay, we in. The aerosol, Michael and Trevor helped them reach destination by switching lights to Thanks green. to on-the-job training, this connection is sweet, bros. Franklin's got twitch controls. We're held up at a red. Turn her green for me. Press L to swap the lights at an intersection. That just happened. Okay, going across the junction. I'm across. <coughs> Hey, Merck's coming from the east, man. Okay, I gotta go east here. The light is green. Engage. 
Make a left, okay? Hey, I picked up more Merriweather northwest of your position. Holla! Make it so. Now, this is a right, okay? We got a green light. Lincoln's on the decks. Now, don't turn. <laughs> Keep going. Twitch, bruh. Already there. This one's clear. Then, uh, make a right turn. Shit, Merriweather on the west of the grid. Now, go right at this turn. Hey, Merriweather spotted on the south. They're waving us through. Holla! Hey, the north side, man. Merriweather on top of you. Make it so. Lincoln's on the decks. Okay, now, we almost clear. This one looks good. Sweet, I did it. That was quite fun. I actually enjoyed that. Hustle up! You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the mail. Damn right. All without firing a bullet. Ah, oh, don't forget our do. case here, uh. huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please don't. No, wait. Biggest score of our lives. We ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. T. Well, <laughs> no, it ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. What? Hey, get up. You tell them something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing is your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old blasted boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking A! Yeah! Hey, oh, man! Fuck! Work first, bicker later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Merryweather! Mercenary How motherfuckers! They find us? You, keep loading. We'll deal with this. There's no way they saw me. I bet the homeless is happy we paid them to get out of here. Fucking Merriweather! Keep those Merriweather psychos away from me. It's really loud. My hands are too sweat. Hey, I saw your two bad German pop the quick, man. Just in time for the action to start. That ain't even fair. Incoming people. Well, that's fun. Die, you pricks! Come on! How many dudes they got in this private order? Watch the metal. Oh, no telling. Look out on the left. I'ma hold the front. Dudes, okay. take the side. Who else will be fucking this up? Hold them down! Oh my God. Uh, go away! We deal with the murderers, we get out! Roid it up, assholes! Have any more on the overpass? Rocket. I don't feel sorry for you. Just in time for the action to start. Don't worry about the shooter. Come on, you assholes. We punch through, we get clear. Come on. There's a guy over here. Oh, he ran back. Just fuck off already! Uh, I'm gonna switch hey. somebody. Hey, they ain't getting the score! Merriweather gave you up to the police. Half the city will be there in under a minute, so move now! We're out of time! You can't put any more bricks in the... Car, what we saved on crew has cost us in gold! I think that's it! That's the last of them! Back to the car. So much for the bulletless revolution! Man, we always getting fucked with. You! Hold the perimeter. Everyone else, in your cars, 
We leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags of bulging. Huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You want to try? Be my guest. All right. Lead the way. So fun, bro. I love it. Oh, I think we can manage that. Oh, fun. We all good back there. I'm not yeah. back for the center. Come on. We're going off the edge here. There's a trap. This is wild. God. So sick, bro. That's so dope. All right, those guys will take care of the metal. Lester's meeting us at my place. Crew skills increase, but what's the point to increase that? We don't Hang do on. any more highs, we're, do we're we? just leaving the gold. Yepper. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold. Hey, T, have a little faith. What? <coughs> faith? In you, buddy? All right, in Lester, in the process. Come on, we've been through it a million times. Any fool can take a score. It's getting away clean that makes the difference between those who walk free and those who do not. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't know what to do with that shit. I'm guessing you wouldn't either, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I just have some trusting issues right now, Franklin. If we get away with this, if, and it's a big if, man, then I can finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores, and you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic, both of you. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, we did it, assholes. We did it. You didn't do it until you got the money.
what in the absolute F? I'm holding the brake and it doesn't brake. The brakes on this SUV are worthless. Gonna coast. Fucking idiot! Oh, this car just sucks, bro. Stop. Uh. Excuse me, signs. Uh, Lester, we have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that uh, it's going to be a few days before... Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah, now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done? Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. That's his fucking fault. Fuck, fuck, fuck you, man. Hey, 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 hey. God. For a couple of Midwest stick up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast. Douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey! Leave Lester alone! Oh! Oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all are assholes! Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, I'm sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. God, they bicker like a bunch of teenagers. You gotta go to the house. What is up with this guy? You good, bro? I don't know why it's made me go this way. Who that? Oh, this hey, guy. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> What the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck. 
I think I'm gonna kill him. I wanna kill Devin. I'd rather take the death wish, honestly. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, I think this is going to be the final mission. And that is to save everybody. Where's his house? All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of GTA 5. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this two hour long episode or somewhat close to it. Um, it was technically two hours and 24 minutes. And um, I had a fun, a fun time. So um, when we come back, we're going to finish the game. I can't finish it right now. The battery level on my headset's too low, and um, I can't drive with a mouse and keyboard. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next episode of GTA 5. Bye.